Hey Prep, welcome back to Studio 107 Sports, bringing you sports from around Passaic and around the world. Did you know that Passaic has a girls flag football team? The team was started this year and has been trailblazing and breaking presidents. They became not only the first girls football team in Passaic, but also the first ever flag football team. The team is coached by two women, Coach V and Coach New Roder. They're definitely turning heads as they turn mine when I had the chance to watch them on their senior night. They did not disappoint as they beat Patterson Kennedy 26 to zero. Their performance left me wondering, and I had a chance post game to interview the crucial components of the team. I interviewed the team's captains, asking them what's their favorite part of football. Um, it's amazing. It feels like we're making history. It feels like a family. This is just incredible. I'm very grateful that I got the opportunity to be a part of the first team. What do you think, Nikki? It feels really exciting just to be a part of something so amazing and to have such an amazing family other than my blood family. So I'm so grateful to have Yeah, I love y'all. Thank you for making it such an amazing senior night. It was great. I joined the team. Uh, for something different. I wanted something different. I wanted to try it out. I said it was their first year, first year of flag football. I got excited. I was like, oh, let me try it out. I always had a love for the sport and I always wanted it. And now that I got the opportunity, I took full advantage and I love it. Um, I joined the flag football team because I've always kind of wanted to join. And just to be a part of it, to being able to make it through the, um, what's it called? Tryouts feels amazing. And to just, you know, be here. Yeah. My favorite part about football is my teammates. Uh, my teammates, we make each other, we always push each other up. We always make sure that we play our fullest, our fullest potential all the time. We're always there for each other. And the audience, like, I just love football. My favorite part is definitely the teammates. The teammates make football so much more better. My favorite part is making people mad. When you pull their flag, you see their faces, you just <laughs> mic drop. <laughs> Um, it, anything is possible if you put your mind to it. I definitely believe that. I'm a firm believer in that. Anything is possible. Don't ever think that just because a guy is doing it doesn't mean that you can do it. We're definitely strong and we have our potential. And yeah, that's what I think. The message I want to send is it doesn't matter who you are, what you are. If you want to do something, go for it. Go for it. Stereotypes tights are just words. You make your reality true and you do what you want to do. Don't, be don't believe and listen to what anybody has to say. You gotta say, this is on three, this is on three. One, One two, three, three does it! <laughs> Lastly, I asked the coaches about what they think about this group of girls. <laughs> What's it like coaching the first ever girls flag football team? Great question. Um, it's exciting, it's amazing. Um, we're making history in all essence, right? We're two female coaches working with an all-female group. Every day they come out, they work hard. They, they give me the courage to come out every single day and work my butt off to be able to get them prepared each and every game. Um, it's unbelievable for not only the city to have a flag football team, but also for it to be females, all females, all female coaching staff. Um, female managers, obviously all of our girls. It's awesome. Um, I played when I was younger, so having that girls have this opportunity, I think it's in, it's amazing and it's gonna blow up and it's gonna be the next best thing for women's sports. As the coach of the very first team, what kind of examples are you trying to set? So the best example that I could give is just having confidence, right? Because in order for them to successfully go out onto that field, Every single practice, we build them up. We do skills. We do drills, right? Um, a lot of the girls watch actual NFL football, so they already have that idea. But starting from scratch, every day just hustling, um, constantly drilling them um, has created this great team and wonderful set of girls. Um, we just want them to be strong women figures in their community. And by being the first ever, um, we try and show them as head coaches that women can do anything. Uh, we coach against men all day long on the field. So just the fact that it's all women and it's the first team ever, we try to show them that they could do anything they set their mind. This team only has room to grow from here. The team had a lot of girls who were new to football as a whole. Now they've garnered attention from around the city and girls are excited to see what the future awaits for them.
Now back to spring sports here in Passaic. I had a chance to interview the head varsity tennis coaches for their input on the season. What was the goal for this season? Uh, the goal for the season is to kind of build upon last season. We have a lot of seniors and uh, a lot of returning tennis players. So if we keep building the program up and f uh, our goal is to get the 10 wins. That's what our captains came up with. So this goal, uh, sorry, the goal for the season is to, like Coach Vogus said, just keep developing our program. Uh, we've been blessed with a lot of amazing, amazing talent, a lot of great new players who are really dedicated to the program. So developing those players so that way when we do lose our seniors at the end of the year, we have a strong foundation for the following, pro for the following years of the program. How do you think what kind of a role does teamsmanship play in a sport like tennis? Um, in tennis, uh, overall, there's a lot, there's three players that play singles and then there's two teams of doubles. So the doubles really relies on teammanship, but overall you need, a out of seven points, you need to get uh, four of them. So it's a team sport. So tennis, I would say it's like a brotherhood. You know, we all win together, we lose together, we improve together, we celebrate each other. Uh, although it is a team sport, there are individual positions. So if, uh, let's say, the singles win and the doubles lose, we root on the singles, we support the doubles, um, and everyone kind of just builds each other up. How did you think you personally affected the students this season? Um, I hope I can kind of lead them. I'm lucky I got Coach Randy, uh, who's the best coach around. Uh, he helps me out with everything, and we kind of are on the same page, and we've been building this program for a couple of years now, and we hope we keep building it to, at some point, be able to win some county titles. I would like to at least um, pass on my, my love and passion for tennis. Uh, tennis is a lifelong sport, so if, whether or not you're a senior who's playing for the first year or a freshman that wants to play this all four years, uh, the goal is to help you develop the skills so that if you want to keep playing all throughout life, you have another, you know, 50, 60, 80 years of tennis left in you. Now in pro sports, the NBA playoffs continue to heat up and the New York Knicks have saved themselves from elimination against the Miami Heat. The Knicks were down 3-1 and found themselves facing elimination until a Game 5 win at the Garden. They now play Game 6 Friday in Miami as they hope to force a Game 7. And speaking of being down 3-1, guess what the Devils are? Yup, they're down 3-1 too. The Devils have to force a Game 7 the same way that they did against the Rangers. We've done it before so I know we can do it again. Now in the MLB, our teams are doing not that well. The Yankees find themselves dead last in the AL East at 21-17 and, and the Mets find themselves in second to last in the NL East at 18-19. and and that's it for this week's episode. The Champions League final is coming up, and I'll do a report on what prep students have to think about it. So stay tuned for more episodes from Studio 107 Sports. Until next time, see ya!